people of God, you're yeah, welcome to Calvary Movies TV, where you can get edifying content, inspirational movies, movies that will bless your life. So what I'm going to do, tap on the subscription button and tap on the notification bell so that you'll be aware whenever we drop a new content. And don't forget to share. Hmm? Make sure you share and tap. Make sure you tap on that subscription button. Subscribe. What are you still waiting for? As I'm saying it, eh? Subscribe. God bless you. The guidance and a light. We cannot do this without Him. As man is walking, he has to walk in his compass. A life without Christ will be a victim of the devil. Watch your ways, your motives in all things you do. Don't give room to the devil. Of God is light. Wash your ways, your motives in all things you do. To give room to the devil, the ways of God is light. To walk in the spirit is the path to. I will kill you right now. I won't wait till tomorrow. I have to do it now because you talk too much. Baba, I hate this boy. Should I fire him? Don't you not be afraid of the terror by night, not by the arrow that flies by day, not by the pestilence that walketh in darkness, not by the destruction that wasted by noonday. You can't waste me at noonday. Now listen up. He won't waste you at noonday. I will waste you with this knife at noonday. Right now! This is a typical picture of how ministry should be. This is the family, and this is Monte Top. Many ministers of God are in the valley of ministry. In the valley, you have torment. You have torture. You have hunger. Want. Difficulty.
You also have abuses. Slander. Blackmail. In some cases, you may even have sickness. Even death. Ah. Ah. This is serious. The valley is not a comfortable stage of ministry. But correct and original ministers of God must pass through the valley of ministry. They must experience one or more of these listed things. And you may even call it quarry experience of ministry. What is quarry? Quarry. Quarry is a place where stones are broken into pieces. The funny experience is the brokenness experience. Mm. But it's a pity that many modern Christians, many modern Pentecostals and Orthodox ministers of God don't want to be broken. The topic of brokenness is abomination to their ears. They want to remain unbroken. They jump from the valley to the mountain top. They are not broken. They are half big Christians. Unfortunately, because they are not broken, they are half big Christians. Within a short while, they fall back to the fire. And their state is worse than initial state. In the valley, you are not known. In the valley, you are not popular. They want to be known and popular overnight. They are tired of suffering. They are tired of ignorance. This is serious. Every original child of God went through a valley just like you are in a valley right now. Joseph was in a pit before he got to the palace. Daniel was in a lion's den before he got his total victory. Jacob was a nobody before he rescued with God and became somebody. Abraham wanted to sacrifice his only son before he was born. You want your husband to become a chivo so that when you call the wife of a chivo, yes. isn't it? <laughs> you want to be worshipped, isn't it? Yes. You want fleet of cars, isn't it? Yes. You want your husband to own a jet, isn't it? Yes. You want to be flying outside Nigeria, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. They captured your son. They abducted your only son. And you felt and concluded in your mind that God is bad. You have forgotten women of your age, desperately looking for a man to marry them. You have forgotten women that are older than you without a single child. You love the gift more than the giver of the gift. Jennifer, love the giver of the gift than the gift. Love the giver of the gift than the gift. Love the giver of the gift than the gift. Oh yes, your candlestick will be removed from the 
the candlestick. Ah! Oh yes! Your candlestick will be removed from the candlestick. Ah! Oh yes! Your candlestick will be removed from the candlestick. That woman has completely transformed my life. I've surrendered my life to Jesus, and I know that He will never put us to shame. I now see all that you have been saying. Hmm. You have now seen all I've been saying. Yes. I'm happy to hear that because we are now seeing in the same direction. Hmm. We now have the same lens. Yes. This is just a little moment of affliction. And it shall pass away. It shall pass away. You see, when a child of God finds himself in a messy situation, yeah. it is a message for the child of God to run into the presence of God. So that you'll be able to find the message for that messy situation. Hey, find the message from the messy situation. Yes. So our responsibility now is to pray so that we're able to find the message of God in that messy situation. Oh. You see, in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse, from verse 1, the Amalekites came and took the children of Israel into captivity. David and his men lifted up their voices and cry. Mm. They cried, cried, cried until they had no more strength to cry. Mm. The people were taken in captive just the way our son Paul was taken in captive. But David did not fold his hands. And in verse 8, the Bible says, And David inquired of the Lord, My dear, we don't know what to do. We are going to pray. So God will tell us what to do in this situation. Mm. I, and I believe we are going to get the message of God in this messy situation. 
Come on, let's pray. Let's pray, let's pray, let's pray, let's pray. What that in the mighty name? Jackson. Jackson. Yes, mom. Now that you are back to Nigeria from the States for this two weeks holiday, I want you to give what I've been telling you for a long time a serious consideration. Uh, what's that, mom? Why are you asking me what is that? I told you to come back home and socialize yourself with the members of the church. Let them know you. Uh -uh. This church is a multi-million naira investment. No, no, no. What is the problem here? What is the bond of protection here? He's asking me a foolish question here. Jackson, what, what, what is happening? Dad. Dad. I'm comfortable in the US. I'm comfortable in the States. <laughs> I have everything I want in the States. What do I want to come here to do, Dad? I can't stay in this jungle called Africa. No. Uh, Mom is saying I should come back. Jackson. Jackson. What your mom is telling you is nothing but the fact. Do you want another man to come and inherit our labor and tears and hard work of so many years? Do you want another person who is not my blood to come and reap where he did not show? How can, how can, how can, how can you say that? You are, my blood should be the one that will inherit all the labors, my labors of yesteryears. Dad, I don't care. See, I'm comfortable in the States. You see that? Uh, uh, this country is a mess. I can't come back to Nigeria. When I was coming back, I saw the back roads, the, the, no pipe on water, no electricity, no no good, no service. It's just a mess. I, I can't stay in this place. That the heat is killing. The, oh my God! You see, I can't, I can't, Daddy. And most of that is the church a money making venture? Is the church a business, a business empire? I thought you were building a kingdom for God and His people. I didn't know you were just building a kingdom for yourself and I. Shut up! Shut up your mouth! What an insult! Ah, ah, Jackson, think! This church is a multi-million naira investment. And the investments of this church rose into millions, hundreds of millions. Ah, ah, now, if your dad goes into glory, what, the, what happens to this mouth opening and the extremely massive investment? Hey? I don't care, mom. Hey. You should care. You should care, boy. What your mom is saying is this, you, and you must listen. Hey? Everybody wants an investment that at the end of the day, the child will reap and inherit that investment. That is the desire of every father. Now, sweetheart. Yes, dear. When my friend Sandra died a month ago, what happened? Who took over for him? His son, of course. His own blood took over yes. for him. What happened to Alfred when Alfred died some years back? What happened to him? His son took over. His son became the general overseer yes. of the commission. Uh -uh. And that is the norm everywhere. That is the practice everywhere. And now are you saying that my own child will not become the new duo of the church after my demise? That is not possible. And that is not workable. I take a very strong exception to that. Let me tell you this, my boy. There is no comfort that is too big for this, for this commission. You, as the new GO of this commission, when I'm gone, I'm going to tell you that your, your water supply is going to be very clean. It's going to be a 24 hours water supply. Even the lights. The lights. You continue to enjoy the lights over and over again. And let me also remind you of this, that if you don't want to have cooks that will be preparing your special delicacies, your food, you can be hungry for your special delicacies in first hotels. Yes. And they will be bringing real fine food for you in first hotels. And then if your concern again is your girlfriend that is in America, let me tell you this. Your girlfriend can be there in America. You can be doing ministry from America to Nigeria. All that you will just do is this. You will come to Nigeria by Saturday and by Monday morning pronto. You are back to U.S. Whoa! 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 <laughs> That's my dog, Oh, that's the mom. <laughs> <laughs>
Give a ball. Yes, general overseer of power, fire on the altar ministry. Wow, <laughs> this is the best news I've ever heard. Wow. So I, I, I can be the general overseer of this ministry from the state. Yes. Oh, I will be preaching. I, 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 will be, I will be preaching from the state. But blessing people, the laymen from the state. Then we oh. can see come and meet with them. Yes, physically. Wow, wow, <laughs> mama, mama. This is the best news, daddy. Yeah. And I promise you, I will be the general overseer of this ministry. Oh, <laughs> mama, mama. Thank you, daddy. Thank you, mama. But that there is a problem. Yeah. What is the problem? <sighs> what is it? I, I, I do drugs. I do drugs. What is the meaning of that? What do you mean? <sighs> well, that is not a problem. We all have smelly armpits. Smell your armpits. Does it smell? Yes, it does. Uh -huh. But we cover our smelly armpits with perfume. So there's no problem. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Do you know what your mother is saying is this? That um, you can be doing your drug, but you should not do your doctor's stupor. You should not do your doctor's stupor. Oh. Essentially, you go, if you want to do drug, you go to your closet where nobody will see you. you then you are economical. You are economical and austere hmm. with the amount of drug you consume per day. Then you do it when nobody will see you. In your wow, 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 Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mama. I promise you, I will be the Geo. I promise you. So I can do drugs and still be the general overseer of the church. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. You, you can do drugs, but you'll be economical mm -hmm. with the way you do your drugs. But I can still do drugs. You, you yeah. just Oh, Daddy, thank you, Mama. Thank you, Daddy. I'll, I'll see you. I love the Daddy. I love the Daddy. The economical with the way you do us, not much of it. Don't do it to stupor. Don't do it to stupor. <laughs> but then the point is this: like we already said, we we'll all have our smelling armpit. We only use roll on to cover it up. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, God, Father, deliver us, deliver us all. Deliver us all. Deliver by the grace of God. I've trained him to that extent to be able to fight spiritual battles. Look, Paul will not die. Paul will not die. Because Joseph saw death in the hand of his brother. And again, he saw death in the pit. And he came out alive. Yes, Daniel saw death in the lion's den. Death could not claim him. Ezekiel saw death. Fifteen years was added to his years because he prayed. My dear, we are still going to pray because Paul will not die. Paul will not die. He must come out alive. He must come out alive. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Before you not die, before you come back alive, yes, even though you pass through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. For my God will be with you. My God will be with you. And you come out alive in the mighty name of Jesus. Your life is hidden in Christ, in God. Your life is hidden in Christ, in God. Your life is hidden in Christ, in God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm you. Much of Let us When he was set to kill you. Now give it to me. Give what to you? Give it to me. Where did you hide it? Hide what? Tell me where you hid it because I have searched through your body and I couldn't find it. What are you talking about? Tell me where you hid the charm. Which charm? The charm you used to protect yourself against the gun and the knife that was used to attack you. <coughs> you can never find it. You can never get to where I hid it. I, it's here. It is in my heart. I hid it in my heart. Psalm 91 verse 7 and 8 says, A thousand shall fall by my side, and ten thousand by my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the. Shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! I know the next thing to do. You have escaped knife and gun, but there is something you cannot escape. Take him there. I surrender. Oh. I... <laughs> <laughs> God and I did not work on him, hmm. but he cannot escape this their new strategy. Hmm. This is a spiritual battle. The spiritual dimension the boy is operating. It's not enough to fight the dimension they are taking him to. Many don't know. Their powers are in levels. One, there are principalities. Two, there are powers. Three, power of darkness of this world. Four, are in the spiritual wickedness in high places. They are taking this boy to the level of the ruler of the darkness of this world. That is dimension number three. This is too much for this young boy. He has tried. But trial is not the issue here. His parents will weigh over him today. <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> to break the silence. I'm here because God told me to come and render the help needed. Hmm. How much are they demanding? Sir, they're asking for 20 million, sir. 20 million? Yes, sir. That's a whole lot of money. And these kidnappers can be very dangerous. Have you tried, you know, I mean, speaking to them to negotiate, maybe they could reduce the amount or something? They have never called since then. Tomorrow is the expiring date that was given to us. What God showed me was very scary. My son must not die. Paul must not die. No, no. He, 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 he won't die. He won't die. <clears throat> you see, this is what I've been talking about. Yes. You don't know what God had been showing me concerning you. You have the grace, the anointing, the unction, the, the, the fire brand apostolic anointing to start on your own. The world, in fact, is waiting for your manifestation. And yet you refuse to manifest. I am ready to part away with 20 million naira to help save your son from the captivity of death. And also, you know, um, give you like um, 30 million naira to start your own ministry too. Jesus! <laughs> ah! Thank you, Jesus! Hey, 
the Lion of Judah, King of Kings, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Jerry, the El Shaddai God. I am that I am. Ah, thank you, Lord. No. Thank you, Jesus. I can understand. I can understand. Ah, I can understand. Thank you, God. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just, just, just sit. Just sit. Just sit. Man of God. Man of God. My chief. You see, I am not just rich. I am super rich. God has been, you know, benevolent unto me. And then he decided that um, his financial prosperity will find a good expression in me. Hmm. And I'm also a businessman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when I see a business opportunity, I am happy to know in it. I don't just throw my money anywhere. Hmm. You are a business body of my investment. Thank you, my chief. I have been listening to you and I appreciate all your submissions. But I'm struggling to understand your narration, sir. Simple. Yes, sir. <laughs> Simple. You see, um, <clears throat> six months after the commencement of your ministry, um, I would demand for a quarter of the tithes, the offerings, you know, the seed offering, the prophetic offering, the firstborn offering, <laughs> and every other offering. Yeah. Mind you, the 30 million I'm giving you is a gift. I'm not borrowing you. It's not part of the agreement in any ways. So, but then, uh, all I need is just a quarter of the weekly income of the church. And we are fine. Deal, deal, business, <laughs> business. Mm. Uh, 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 that's not bad. What is important to me now is the money to set my son free. Uh, we will talk about other things later. My son must not die. Paul must not die. My son must not die. My dear sweetheart, calm down. Calm down. Have you forgotten the revelation of God? Hmm? Have you forgotten your encounter with that woman? Is the church of God for sale? Are we going to sell the church of God because of little affliction? Have you forgotten all the prayers and the instruction of God for us? Mm -mm, my wife. And uh, chief. With all humility, sir, I want you to listen that the church of God is not, cannot, and must not be sold for any amount. Yes, you cannot buy the anointing of God over my head. You cannot buy the unction and the grace of God over me. You cannot take me out of the valley where it is not yet my appointed time. God will take me out of the valley only in his time. In his time. So once more, sir, the church of God is not for sale. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I've tried my best. If anything happens to your son, I'm not at fault. You're at fault. Hmm. Better take my leave now. Please don't go. Please, 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 don't go. Please, please, my, don't go. My dear, ah, nothing, will, nothing will please, happen to our son. Ah, our please, son will not cry. Stand up. Stand up. Our son will not die. Ah, yes. Son. Let me tell you, I can't. I can't collect that money from him. Oh. And I will not collect that money from him because the church of God is not for sale. Uh, Our uh, son will not die in Jesus' name. Yes. All right, so my babies, my girls, let's cheers. 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 Cheers.
Let's go there. Ah! Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Oh! Ah! Oh, that's all my job, all the job.
all over again. You feel you will run it differently. <laughs> that is how it is for people who came to us for power. Are you sure? Are, 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 you, are, are you very sure? Sure of what? That my son will not inherit my property after my demise. Yes.
to we or to do any other thing, you are always awake. This what is happening? Then you are crying. Oh, there's no problem. When we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. In the name of who? Jesus. Jesus. In the name of who? Jesus. Pepe in the name of who? Jesus. Pepe in the name of who? Jesus. Pepe. <laughs> That's That's awesome. Awesome. Uh, but the next question is, where, where did we find out in the Bible? First Samuel chapter 5 verse 1. That's my boy. Mommy, that is my boy. That's our boy. That is my boy. That's our boy. <laughs> now, oh, listen to the other song. Your favorite song. Victory, victory, hallelujah. You are not showing the Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, victory, victory, hallelujah. Jesus, come as your devil, bada bada.
Bishop, aye, aye. Bishop Sparks. Yes. Everybody knows you. You need no introduction. Bishop, what can I do for you? <laughs> That's a uh, man, Jackson. He's my son. He was strong, hale and hearty yesterday. Until he just fell down and began to vomit blood, raw blood from, 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 from his mouth. Uh, doctor, I've never seen anything unfortunate so close to that. I should be the I mean, one. Any unfortunate thing I've never seen so close to that. I should be the one to say that. I, I've never seen anything close to that. Our test reveals a complete liver function breakdown and continuous hemorrhage. What is the meaning of hemorrhage? Bleeding. Hey. I would have referred him abroad, but I'm sure your son's condition is far beyond that. Hey. Uh, what I'm saying is that as we are looking for a medical solution, we need to put serious effort in prayers. Uh, you are a bishop. You should understand what I'm saying. By the grace of God, I am a Christian and I know that cases like this need Jesus' intervention. Uh, bishop, we need to put more effort in our prayers. As it is now, humanly and medically speaking, we may lose him in the next one half. This must not happen, doctor. This must not happen. Ah, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. That is the right name to call. With Jesus in the picture, the blue picture become a clear picture. Bishop. With Jesus in the picture, yes. the blue picture becomes a bright picture. That is just the facts, Bishop. With Jesus in the picture, the blood picture becomes a clear picture. The picture is looking gloomy and blurry. That is why we brought him here. Ah, yeah. Please help us. Please. Yeah, please help me. Help us. He's our only son. Please don't let him die. See, he's getting weaker and weaker every time. I don't even have look at me. Please help me. Help me. <laughs> yeah. Please. I beg you. Help me. Help me. You know, the last time that I came here, you know what you told me? This is the only boy that I have left. I've lost everything. And nobody can inherit anything that I have except this boy. Please, I'm begging you. You have helped us in time past. You have done so many things for us. Dangerous things you have helped us. Please, this is the most important thing that you will do for me. That you will be happy about. You have taken me around to different places. In the hospital, they rejected me. Please, help us. I beg you. you. You know very much that I mean you know too well that I cannot father a child after the whole process I've went through. And I, I, I told you, but you gave me the assurance that there will not be any problem. Now look at the things that I speak of me. Any problem all over. Everywhere problem, please. Please. Hey, take him out of this place. Huh? He has only 30 minutes to. Gender. That is our agenda. 
That is our agenda. That is our agenda. That is our agenda. Child, 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the name that is above every other name. Amen. I command you, come back to life. Amen. And you evil powers, you evil powers, holding this boy in the captivity of death, release him. I said, release him. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, release him. Amen. Release him now from the captivity of death. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God so release him. Amen. I said, release him. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Because he is in a covenant that is above every other covenant. And what covenant is that? Covenant of blood. His blood is in the calabash. He belongs to us. Covenant in the blood of Jesus has broken every other covenant. We're going to pray right now. In the name of Jesus, every covenant, every power, every forces, we break every yoke concerning Jackson in the name of Jesus. He cannot die now. Yes. It is not yet his time. Yes. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus that it is not yet his time. He must die. His appointed time has come. Jackson, the son of smart. This is not the appointed time for you to die because you are precious in the sight of God. He will give men in exchange for your life. Instead of him dying, yes, your life will go for his life. Your life will go for his life. Your life will go for his life. In Jesus' name, fall and die. Amen. Fall and die. Amen. Fall and die. Amen. Fall and die. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every power of darkness. Lord Jesus. 
I acknowledge you as the Son of God. I acknowledge you as the Son of God. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. Help me to walk with you. Help me to walk with you. To the end of my life. To the end of my life. Jesus' name. This world will change. Jesus' name. The Lord has saved me. Ah! Daddy, pass away. Let's shout 10 hallelujah. 10 hallelujah. 10 hallelujah. Okay. Come on. Hallelujah! are inadequate to express my personal gratitude as a pastor of this church and the collective gratitude of my family for the way God used you that today our name is not in oblivion and how God used you to heal our son our only son Jackson I must tell you that Jackson is already back to the States is back to America Okay, I know you are aware of that. Um, we must also appreciate you, which is very, very important, the most important, for bringing us to the light of Christ again, for bringing us to the life of Christ again. Thank you so very much. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. To God be all the blessings. You're welcome. Pastor, thank you. Sister Jennifer, we are very, very, very sorry for the assaults, the abuses, and the harassment that we have caused you. Please, please, can you find a place in your heart to forgive us? Please. You are welcome, ma. Mm. Please. And, um, Talking about ministry, I'm no longer growing younger, I'm growing older. And uh, God has laid it on my heart to step aside from being the general overseer of this commission, of this ministry. That's what God said. Uh, right from the word go, since I set my eyes on you, that day that you came into this church with a Bible and a small bag, the Lord opened my eyes and the Lord told me that this is going to be the next general overseer after my demise. It was a blow to us. I got in and told my wife it was a blow to us. I fought strongly against it. My wife stood very strongly against it. But who can battle with the we and the purpose of God? We wanted Jackson to step into our shoes. But all our efforts to make this happen were efforts in gross futility. All efforts to manipulate our way to get him fixed into the shoe as the general overseer after my demise. You know, I, I was copying other churches. I actually wanted my son to be the one that would step into the shoe. All those efforts were efforts in gross fertility. They didn't see the light of the day. Uh, we did a lot of things. We ran from pillar to pole, looking for a way. I mean, we used diabolical powers looking for a way to get you out of the way, looking for a way to get you out of the way and bring in our son. We, we actually, the two of us, I and my wife actually wanted to run this church free because we saw you as the plug in the wheel of the progress of our ministry. And we wanted to get you out of the way. But those efforts didn't bring results. We wanted to use diabolical powers to buy the church of God. But it cannot be bought. We wanted to use money, something that they can use money to buy the church of God. 
Some think they can use fame to buy the church of God. But the church of God is not for sale. And any man or anybody who tries to buy the church of God by any means, apart from God giving the blessings and the leading to start the church of God, any man who wants to use diabolical powers or any other power or any other thing to get the church of God, such a person will only buy himself debts or insanity. That should have been our case if not for God that intervened. No man can buy the church of God. Because the church of God is the property of God and is never for sale. <sighs> In a nutshell, <sighs> I and my wife have received a message from God that you, you are the new. General overseer of this commission. Uh -huh. You want to step aside? Uh -huh. ah, no. no, sir. No. No, please. Please don't do that. Uh -huh. Is that about us? Uh -huh. That's what God says. Uh -huh. who, who are we to battle with the Lord? Uh -huh. We have done it in, in, in time past. We tried to battle with the Lord in time past. And in fact, who are we to battle with the Lord? Uh -huh. Sir. I'm too small. I mean, we are too small to step into this shoe. Sir, please don't do that. Please continue, sir. Please. Please continue, sir. Please continue, sir. Please continue, sir. The God that helped Jeremiah, when Jeremiah thought he was a young child, sir, would help you. The God that helped Joshua, that same God will help you. Amen. The Lord that helped Elisha, when Elijah handed over the mantle of leadership to him. That same God will help you. Amen. Your own case will not be like the case of, of Gehazi, who received the mantle of leadership, but he made a caricature. He made a mess with the mantle of leadership. Instead of using that mantle of leadership to bring up to bring the dead to life, he was busy running around uselessly with the mantle of leadership. The God that arise. For this mighty man of God Amen. that God handed ministry to, Amen. that same God will arise on your behalf Amen. and you will make it Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. I got to get you out of the This coming Sunday, the whole church will be aware of this new development. Uh, the headers of the church, the pastorates, and everybody will be aware of this great move of God. God bless me, brother. Please pray for me, sir. Please, daddy, pray for me. The guidance hey, and the heart. We cannot do things without our ignorance. As man is walking, he has to walk in his heart. A life without Christ to be a victim of the devil. Guidance and a light. We cannot do things without Him. As man is walking, He has to walk in His accountants. A life without Christ will be a victim of the devil.